Hey y'all, welcome back to another quick one minute practice tip. Today we're gonna be talking about air speed and aperture size. Lately I've been getting a lot of questions from my students about what to do with their air and their aperture in the upper register. So I just wanna break this down real quick. I think most of us have heard before that if you wanna play in the upper register, you have to send faster air speed and work with a smaller aperture. In 99% of cases, this is usually gonna be true. But something that I think we oftentimes forget is how those two things are related. So let's think about a garden hose. Most of us have used one of these before, right? We're sending water across the yard. If you want to make that water go farther, you're not gonna walk all the way back to the wall and turn up the spigot. You're just gonna put your thumb over that hole. It's gonna make the hole smaller. You're gonna send your water farther. Air is gonna work the same way here. As we go from a big aperture to a small aperture, we're gonna be able to send our air way faster and thus really, really increase our upper register only by making change right here at the chops.